tell us about Long Dumb Road in a nutshell. Sure. The Long Dumb Road is about two guys who meet each other and uh, go on a wacky adventure across the Southwest. So were these two characters inspired by real people? So a friend of mine, Nat Sanders, who is, he's an editor. He edited Moonlight and a bunch of other films that have come to Sundance. He's the one who told me that he picked up a drifter and the drifter's friends and then drove them somewhat across the country. What about you? What's your favorite movie? Uh, Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift. And I just thought that was the craziest thing I've ever heard. And something that as a woman, I would never do. Really? Oh yeah, that movie is crazy. Like it's about these guys and they race all these cars. So it was a fun way to explore getting into a guy's mindset and like being open to experiences like that. And I, I thought it was, it was a fun exercise. I mean, they're, they're all right, those movies, to be honest. I mean... Fast and Furious 1 and 2? Yeah. Fucking the best movies I've ever seen. And how did you decide on Jason and Tony? You are both <laughs> such marvelous comic they, actors. They really are. Um, I've been a fan of Tony since Grand Budapest Hotel, and he plays a straight man in Long Dem Road, which is perfect because he's, he's so expressive. So he's so great at reacting, whereas Jason's brain is just like on fire all the time and he's just whip smart. So we stuck to the script, I would say 80% of the time and then the other 20% we sort of let Jason go. Well, I mean, they like, they lost their steam like by the time they got to like six. I think they're on like eight now. Wait, there's more of those fucking movies? Yeah, there's like eight more. Why is it important to maintain an independent filmmaking voice? I think it is so important that we find films and stories that help us shape who we are, find our place in the world, help us experience new things about the world, where new voices can be heard. Mm -hmm.